Welcome to the stream call. In the commentating booth, we have myself, Honey Tito, and the man that birthed the legend, the professor, Jimmy Henry. So for this game, this will be the this will be the grand final for the New Zealand Secondary Schools National Eight Ball Championship. So we have Hamilton Boys High Lions versus Geraldine High School. So on the Lions, the three players that we have playing today would be Kieran, Kieran Dempsey, Jack Ellis, and Levi. I'm not 100% sure of his last name, but and Levi. Welcome to the stream, everyone, by the way, guys. Welcome, Cole. Welcome, Manfield. Mary Dunn. Brandon Shin. Yeah, and the game you're watching now is between Kieran Dempsey and Bailey Dalton. Bailey's from down south, South Islander. Canterbury, playing for a couple of years. His first time on these tables. Usually plays Cozzy Club. And he can, he's a pretty good shooter. A little bit more... Uh, knowledge from somebody that knows the game and he will be very hard to beat let's see how he runs this rack three next he's gonna pop out for the seven or he's popped the cross but missed the ball probably concentrating too much on getting on to the seven okay Dempsey Kieran Dempsey one of the new up-and-coming players and he is very good he can pot, he's really keen, and he's got the right temperament to be a good player. And at the age of 15, he's got a lot of pull before him, except missing like that. <laughs> okay, Honey, what, what have they got here? Young Bailey. Hey, back to Bailey. I'm pretty sure he's on the smalls. He doesn't really have much to play here. The... Uh, Two possibly maybe on in the top left hand corner, but it's a little bit risky. Um, and in terms of the bigs, the bigs everywhere is a little bit open for the for the pot in. Um, yeah, let's just see what he does here. He might try safe, or he might even try and pot that three with the use of the six. Let's see what he does. Yep, he went for that option. Okay, Kieran at the table. His best bet here would be to go for that 10 ball if he can. Open the table right up. He doesn't like the 10 ball. What is he doing here? I think he's going to try and cut that 12. No, he's just opting for the safety. Biding his time. That was a good chance to get open up that 10 ball and open the table up. Okay, he's given Bailey a chance at the table. You never know what they can come up with. These young players, two years experience, Max. Except for Jack Ellis, who's playing on the other table. He's a hardened player, Jack Ellis. He's just on an eight ball clearance here, and he's got it quite easy. He's probably been the player of the tournament the one with the most experience, the one that can play really good. So he's just won 10 nil on the other table. We'll see Jack Ellis come up soon on table, the TV table. And uh, sending Jack Ellis to America is not, it's a pretty good idea. I'd pick him to go close to winning it over there. Plays a lot of snooker jack. Anyway, back to the TV table. Kieran's still trying to contain Bailey. Another safety shot. All his balls are in good position now, but he's given Bailey a chance here to run the rack. Start off with the three ball. Yeah, start off the three ball, then possibly come back for the six. Everything's pretty much nice and open for the giving, but that was a little bit unfortunate that he missed that. That would have. You see, he jumped up before he even played the shot. He moved. He 
was lifting up as he was pushing through the ball. Kieran Dempsey back to the table. He's going to be starting us off nine. Okay, a nice top shot on the nine. Just a little bit of nerves here. Yeah, now we have Bailey back to the table. He's going to be starting us off the four, then possibly go for the... Uh, starting us off the two, sorry. And then possibly going next to the seven, I believe. Probably the shot. Or he'll take that four first to the six, Jimmy, you reckon? No, he's look like he's going to try and hold it. Yeah, he's, yeah he should have done what you've done. You know, went up the table for the six. There would have been an easy nice run out. Yeah, good. Yeah, he has to take the seven now. I think he's forced to take the seven. Fine cut. Okay, if he misses this, he's going to leave Kieran an open table. Not really many problems for Kieran here. He's okay, I think he's going for safety here. Going to sit back up on the top of here, rail here where the six is. Okay, a little bit, well, he's covered the middle pocket, so that option is not on. So you'll go down there for the 10 ball. Knowing that if he misses, he's still going to leave Bailey a tough shot. Oh, the 11's on, so nice shot, nice starting shot. Okay, they're all there now for the taking. Yeah, not really any problem ball for Kieran. Uh, we'll just see what he does in terms of the run out. He'll probably go for the 13, then the 15. 10 in the same corner as the 13. Yeah, just one ball at a time, just get in position, see where you are. Don't think too far ahead. Okay, pop up for the 9 ball, get into that area. Good shot. On the wrong side of the nine, he wanted to play the nine, so he come towards his 12 and 14. Then have a look at what sort of angle he got. He's having a look now. Okay, he can run through a bit. He could have had the option of taking the 10 ball, but he's going to stay down table and take the 12 ball. Screw back, 14 in the same pocket. Okay, Ooh, he's run he's out of position. He's punched into the 14 and missed position, so he's going to have to take this 10 ball, go round the table. Yeah, got an unfortunate whack on that 14. <coughs> but that would be the shot, Jimmy. You know I mean? Just got to worry about the in off and uh, getting into the windows up for the 14 in the one of the top left or top right hand corners. Had the line. So now we have uh, Bailey coming back to the table. Not really much that he can start us off with. Possibly the six goes past the 14. Or uh, a nice fin cut for the seven into the center. What do we think, Jimmy? Yeah, seven in the middle. Just touch that in. If you pot that, you win. Or oh, even the double. He doesn't like the cut into the middle, so he's going for the double. Yeah. Left it safe as well. Not quite sure he was attempting to go for that safe, but I think Kieran has one shot. Cutting the thinly cutting the ten into the top little right hand corner. Okay, just roll this in. So he's behind the fourteen. Or you can play it with a lot of confidence and punch it in. Look at that. Sharp. So Jimmy, you being a coach and all, what, what do you think about uh, Kieran and his game? Yeah, he's got a good game on him. 
I can say that. He's got all the shots, but in saying that, he just drinks them. No, he's got a game, good game, Kieran. He's got, you know, he's only young and he's got a pretty good game at the age he is. So now we have uh, Bailey back to the table. Possibly we're going to start us off at the seven in the bottom right hand corner. And then in terms of the position, potentially going three rails around to the six in the bottom left. What are you talking about, mate? <laughs> How about just pop the ball first? Pretty tough shot to go three rails, but, uh, you know, he just needs to play this slow, and if he sits in behind the eight and six, see there would have been better, just touch it in, sit behind the eight and six, and leave Kieran a jump shot or something would have been the better option. Three rails, tough shot off that last shot. Okay, nice stroke. See nice how he shot. stayed there. Yeah. Stayed still. Nice eight in the corner. Ten five for that round. Okay, and this is a team's event, it's not singles, so you have to score balls. You get 10 points for a win, and if you're the loser, you get for every ball you get, you get a point. Okay, we've got Kieran versus Julia. And Julia, she's from the South Island as well. She's been playing for two years, plays a lot of Cozy Club, or Clubs New Zealand pool, on a small seven foot table with the tight pockets, or the English, English cut pocket. Yeah, it's been a long weekend for some of these some of these players and a bit of travelling. For example, Julia and Julia Bailey and Lydia, which is from the school of Geraldine High School, they've done a bit of travelling all the way from Napier, I believe. Napier? Geraldine. Oh, from Geraldine. A little bit of kick there. Missed his first ball. So Julia has an open table. So the format here is they all play three games, each person the opposite team, and the key is to score as many balls as you can. A win is 10 points, and if you're on the losing side, you get one ball. One point a ball, sorry. Bit of a hanger there. Yeah, a lot of work for Kieran. A lot of work. Not really much on as well for Kieran, unfortunately. Possibly cut the two. What he really wants is control of the uh, right hand corner pocket. If he can pot a ball and cover that pocket up to get a ball in front of the 14, he'll be in the box seat. He's 
looking at the safety shot here if that two's not on we'll try and put the two and kick the six over not too bad in this situation here he just wants to control the game quite sure what he's going to be playing here possibly the seven in the center what do we think Jimmy that's the only shot that's on like I said he should just control the game here nick off the uh, six ball pot the 13 leave it safe and just wait That's not bad. Easy start here, 10 ball. Her only problem ball is, is that 14, I believe. Not really much of a problem. Yeah, but she's got control of the table yeah. with that ball there. Yeah. With the 13 in front of it, she's got control. Kieran needs to move balls here. And he needs to move that 13 ball. Like these young players haven't got the experience to know what to do in certain situations so he's going to take the three ball and just try and move a few balls and then have a look at what he's got okay he's opened up the 14 that wasn't really a good shot Good attempt, though. If he would have got the shot, would have still had a f bit of problems, though. Yeah, but look at the 13, honey. You've got to look at the whole game. You know, he needs to mm -hmm. move that 13 to have full control of the table. At the moment, he's playing a losing game. So the key here is just to try and turn the game around. Okay, if I was here, I'd be pushing this 14 into the open. Only because I've got control. She doesn't really want to pot out too early, take away her good balls. She needs to get to that 14 early. And now in this situation here, she's taken away all her good balls, 15 off the seven. That's the shot that she's normally playing, 15 to the center. But that 14, does that 14 go far? And now we're back to that little cluster down there, the 14, which was always going to be a trouble ball. Okay, I think um, Kieran should be having a look of getting a ball in hand here. A high percentage he will get ball in hand. And there you go. Now Kieran has to, you know, work out how to handle this. Yeah, he's got a bit of work to do. With his problem ball being the four. How would you bring that four out, Jimmy, personally? No, I'd just take my time, honey, and just put the six onto the 13 and let her get it out for me. Just touch the six onto the 13. And there's no way she can put that 14 unless she can double it back. Control the table. He wants to do it in one go. He wants to pot the six and open up the four. There's no shot there. The 13 will still be the... Uh okay, he's going to kiss into the four here. So Kieran's just a little bit inexperienced with how to control the frame. 
he doesn't need to do this just yet, but he is. When he opens up this 14, he's going to leave. <laughs> just comes down to experience. When you get in these situations, you should know what to do. He might try and pot the 13 now. With He's done it the first shot. The six. He's going to screw onto the 13, but now you got to watch out. Jolie doesn't play a nice snooker on him. Oh, he missed it. But it doesn't really matter. Now Jolie just needs to move that 14 ball. Open up the four ball. Sit in behind the 14. Leave Kieran nothing. She's going to touch this in and then do it, which is no good. Nominated safe though. Yeah, she should have done that first and she still had the 13 over the top. This should have been the first shot she did. Karen can just touch the four. Nice shot. Okay, Julie is in a tricky situation there. She can run into the ball, it's not a foul. She can push into it as long as the ball hits the rail after contact. That's not a bad leave, that's a pretty good leave. Puts a pressure ball here, he has to pot this ball or the one ball, the one ball's on. Come down the middle of the table. And saying that, he's still got the uh, five ball to contend with. Yeah, he definitely needs to bring that five out, but you might be able to squeeze it on the right side into the pocket. Okay, just touch this in and then play the snooker. If he wants to, it could be on. I think it's on. A little bit risky. Good shot. A, mile, a little bit too hard. Okay, he's a pretty good potter. Okay, now, now. Okay, so I'll just play a snooker here if it's got the touch. He's going for the kill. Might get a snooker back out of this if he plays it right. A little bit too hard. It's going in off. Not too bad. Not too bad.
14 down the corner. Bottom right hand corner. And then eight most likely into the centre. Oh. Played it well, unfortunate that it was an off. Shakirin and Dempsey coming back to the table with a ball in hand. So where's he going to, Horny? Just four in the corner. Eight in the centre, I reckon. That's right. That's the easiest way. The ball doesn't have to move at all. It's just top shot. Don't forget to move the, the marker. marker. Good shot. Good shot with Karen. So that's 10 7 Tamil Boys High School. Next game we have Lydia and Jul uh, Lydia and Jack. Jack Ellis, everyone knows Jack Ellis. Probably the class act of uh, the class act of um, this weekend. He pl he's been playing snooker for the last two years, and he's playing pretty good. Doesn't really hardly miss. His positioning is very good. This table, everything's out and open for the for the yeah. clearance. Yeah, he'll just definitely take the big ones here. Yeah, wants to take them big ones and to be able to clear it out. Everything's there for the giving. For the taking, I should say. Okay, the 14 first. Little shuffle. He's in a tough position here. Okay, 10, run up for the 13. Get rid of these ones up here high. He's got angle to get onto the 13. He's on the 13 perfectly. I think it might be 10 now, or do you mean? No, he's still got a little bit of work to do yet. He's got the 11 to get onto. And he's also got the 12 to open the pocket up. Two, but the 15, if he gets onto that 15, the 12 can go in the opposite corner. That's where you see where he ends up. He has ended up in no man's land. Okay, now you're going to see a plant. There you go, that, that 11 ball is the key ball in this rack. Let's play this with confidence. Well, the 15 was on. That nine on. If it's on, it'll be good. He's gonna put this nine and run into the four or the eleven. No, I don't think it's on. Okay, he's gonna have a go at the nine. He's gonna run into the eleven. Let's see where he ends up. Could be a little bit lucky here. Is he gonna get lucky? Yeah, he's gonna get lucky. All right, look at that. Good shot. Okay, now the key here is to leave himself an angle to get from the 12 to the 8. Put the eight, 12 and 8 in the same pocket. So he wants to be around the middle somewhere. And his perfect angle. Punch it across, come across. Okay, it must be on past the 3. It's going to be tight. It's on. Let's put the marker there, so that's where it's going. He could play off the seven. Mm. If it's not on, he could play off the seven ball. I think it goes. Oh, he tried to play off mm. the seven. So now we have Lydia back to the table. Only have one shot this whole match. 
Or this whole frame, I should say. Starting this off three. Take your time. Just one ball at a time. Center of the table is good. Touch this two ball in for the four ball. If you can get on that four ball, you can run down for the seven five. It's not a bad, not the right angle, but this is going to be running close to this five ball here. Okay, so you can stun out to the middle, touch. Nice touch. Perfect. Okay, now this shot here, she can play both the five and the seven in the same pocket. She's got the right angle to hook in behind, or she come up the table and use the six ball to get down behind it. Another yeah, she nice did. She did get behind it. Pot the seven, come up the middle of the table. Perfect. Okay, stop shot, bring it back a wee bit. So when she plays the six, she'll run behind the black ball. She, she wants a good angle once she plays that six ball. So just a little screw back. Don't stop it. Oh, don't touch it either. She could have should have played that with a bit of authority and Punched off the rail, giving herself an angle to pot the six, then the black. So forty four twenty seven seven double time. Okay, Bailey to break. And uh, Bailey scratching the break also. So now we have Levi coming to the table. He'll be having just ball in hands into the, in the kitchen or anywhere on the north side of the line. Still a few column balls on the table there, so. Yeah, still a bit of a few problem balls onto the table. Not quite sure what he'll start with. Possibly, possibly the bigs, I believe, would probably be the, the set to pick. Levi has a different plan, so we'll see what he has in mind. Cut the two. Ooh. A little bit unfortunate there. That 10 possibly can still go as well off the two. We have Bailey here on the bigs. What do we, what do we think? Jimmy's got a bit of work to do, though. Could potentially play the ten off the two. I think that's what he's going to be planning on doing. Just one. 
time, so both teams now head to the light remaining. So you guys best uh, final now for the fight. Preliminary A and B, you guys go up here. So both of them have one life left. Created a few problems for his staff, but nine, and it doesn't really have much to do here either. Plus, then we have Levi back to the table. I think you you've done a bit of coaching on him as well, Jimmy. Have you? Yeah, when he first started coming here, then I haven't seen him for a while. Open up the two ball and the three Shut ball. Up. Okay, just touch this in. Just touch it in, and it'll give him a good angle on the two ball to come out for the four. He's putting the bottom on this. I don't know why. Uh, I honestly don't know why. I think he's thinking himself. Yeah. yeah, he should have just run through a wee bit. Would have had a good angle to pop the two and then come out for the four. Now he's got a tough four. Cut it in and then you don't know where he's going to go. It looks like he's going to go in off here. Cut it. Brady's got a good starter, easy starter. First up, 13. Okay, so coming to the commentating booth, we'll have Miguel Roman. I don't know why he didn't take the 30 and Miguel there. He was yeah, it was a lot easier, wasn't it? Yeah, stay at the table, get the balls. <coughs> He's given Levi a chance here. Slow roll this. Yeah, just nudge that nine a little bit if he... It looks like he's going to hit it quite hard. Yeah, he's winding it up. There you go. That's not a bad shot though, Jimmy. That's a good shot. He needs to go for that eight in the same pocket. Got the check side. No, he's that's all right, though. That's all right. Run. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's right. He hasn't got a jump here. No, but he's. I think he might try. I think he might try to swerve the ball. It looks like. Looks like it might be on. Looks like he can hit it. Mm. Too fine. At least he got seven balls anyway. Yeah, that's, that's right. The main, main thing. The eight ball is over the pocket too, so. Yeah, bit of pressure on Bailey to pop that first ball. <laughs> yeah, he's the 14 is really his best bet, but. Yeah, come across here for the nine ball. And if he doesn't like that, he's got the 12 ball to fall back on. Yep. He should take that nine first, though. Angle here, mm, pop yeah. the nine and go down behind the 13 ball. It's really the only shot to play. He's looking at the plant. I don't know if that's quite the. I don't think that's the best shot here, Jimmy, going for that plant. Very risky. 12. 12. Yeah. Very risky.
Good shot. Good shot by Levi. Good to see all you couple of boys. Hi, uh, students watching and supporting. Hey, Daniel. Okay, one more round to go. And we've got Kieran versus Lydia. So we're on the final round now. We've got Boyce High on 54 points and Geraldine on 29 points. Bit of a cluster going on here, so this will be an interesting frame. Yeah, and we've had a lot of frames like that this today, haven't we? And yesterday. Yeah. And this just comes down to the uh, break. You know, you've got to have a big break to open those balls up on the small table. Otherwise, you're always going to have games, you know, little clusters all over the place. Yeah, the break is a very important shot because you could eventually get away with just breaking and clearing, not having to play, play the play at all, really, so. I think she's going to put herself into trouble here. Yeah. Take the two and then pot the three, maybe, and then stuck. She really needs to play a little bit smart here. Same with Kieran, that these clusters don't help. Just looking if the seven's on, a little bit close. Hasn't left really left Kieran much. And Kieran's been in this situation a lot where he's had a tied up table. Didn't really move anything there. So in this situation, this is where you just stop potting. Stop potting and just wait, be yep. patient, and then wait for your right time to come. Kieran just needs to pot three balls, so that's one. So if he pots two more balls, it's impossible for Geraldine to catch up. I don't think he knows that, but 
I'm sure he's going for the win anyway. Great pot there. Okay, 14 in the middle. We'll open up everything. Yeah, I think so. Lydia open table. Three's okay. Get rid of the three now. Well, that's probably the best position you can get. Probably go the three, the one, the seven. Three, two, seven. Three, two, seven, you reckon, Jimmy? Yeah, come back round for the one, and then the black's right in front of you. Just depends on this shot here. Played it, nice weight. Perfect. Perfect angle. Come into the middle of the table. She's got to make sure she doesn't sit behind that 14 ball. Bit far there. Black in the same pocket. Yeah. This will test her line her line out. Yeah, and the pace as well. Line, yeah. That pace needs to be good too. And a little bit of bottom left hand side. Punched it. Oh. Still got lucky. Nudged it. Oh look at that. Yeah, look at that. By the looks of things, Boys High only needs two more points. And they'll take it out. Hamilton Boys High just need two balls to win the National Champs team's event. Two games left, so this is this is going to be tough if Geraldine want to break and clear, break and clear. Yeah. He's got one down. He needs to clear this. Can they win 10 1 10 1? There'll be a tie, I think. So they need a 10 0 to win the 
Oh, no. The yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, they need to nail it, I think. I think they can get away with a 10 nil and a 10 1, but that's, that's about it. Jack only needs to pot two balls. Yeah, Jack will definitely go for it. Yep. The 14, then the 15. Oh, sorry, the 11. No, he's just, no, yeah. just going to, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. The, yeah, use the 11 to uh, open up the 12 if he wants. Stop a shot here. Or in and out, yep. And that's it, in I think. In and out, burger. Yeah. Okay, he wants to move this 12 ball that's on the rail. If he's good enough, he should do it. There you go, didn't move it enough. Okay, 15, 10. Yeah, and try to get on that 12. Yeah. Let's put the bottom of this. So we'll screw back off the rail. Okay, mm. use the three ball. Play this ball off the three ball and go over for the 12. Or you could even cut it. The black will hold the yeah, ball. Yeah, black, their black might be. <laughs> I think it's going, three. yeah, off the three it is. Great shot. Yeah, but didn't push over hard enough to get right and behind it. Yes. And saying that, it's still a good shot. I think this 12's frozen, he might play a bit of side just to coax it into the pocket. Yeah, just check the side and come straight across for the... Oh, oh he went for, for the double. Did he? Okay. Left on open table. The, the two and the seven there looks to be the problem problem balls there for Bailey. Yeah, he could probably uh, pot this ball and if he can get behind the three and one, he could play a safety behind there. Yeah. Just uh, buy himself another shot. Especially with ball in hand, he could get. Oh no, he's going the one ball. Okay, just the pressure, I suppose. Why they're missing those shots. It's a sneaker. Where's his jump shot? He's definitely going to get that jump cue out, I think. He's going to kick it. He's going to kick the eight. Oh, no. Oh, that was close. Nearly went in the wrong pocket. Bailey's got another chance here. Play a safe here, Jimmy, if he wanted to. Leave the white ball behind the six. Went for it. Good shot.
Okay, there you go, folks. The new New Zealand Secondary Schools champion team, Hamilton Boys High. Blue. So because it was a foul break, um, Julia gets the option of either breaking herself or handing it back to Levi, but she's chosen to break. Good break. Yeah, and just a quick uh, summary, Lou. I mean, uh, Miguel, it's been a bloody good la last two days. Yeah, very impressed. It's the first time uh, we've had this at Massé, and it's run really, really well. It's good to see over 15, over 15, oh sorry, 16 teams entered, over 50 students played, wow. and um, yeah, they took, and everyone took it very seriously, everyone was, were class acts when they were playing, no issues, no dramas, awesome, awesome event. Yeah, well run, it was, the tournament was awesome, well run, you know, you and Logan put a lot of behind the scenes time into it, and you just got it going, and yeah, you made it happen, which is awesome. You know, these are the future. This is the future of our game, and all these young kids that haven't really played that much. So I've seen, you know, some good quality kids that play real good pool, and hopefully it inspires them to be like them, and it just rubs off on them, and you know, just builds a whole school concept. Yeah, you're right, Jimmy. It's it's good to see the the junior scene um, in Massey picking up. We have a lot of juniors participating at the moment, which is really good. I've seen a few people starting off age eight even age seven eight they're quite young coming into it being quite competitive in tournaments so it's it's been awesome to watch yeah and once again you know I, I wish i was like these kids when i was their age they've got the uh future of pool in their hands now so you know they can make a living out of it if they wanted to or you know just a minor living but yeah it's looking really good the juniors in messe yeah it's good when you've got coaching you know it's Easier to you learn the stuff that you normally learn by yourself in two years. Coaching it only takes what six months. So you got to. That's right. It's yeah. hard. It's hard without a coach. So it's it's good that these got you can see you can see it in um, the way these guys play. You know we had people like Alex Andres, Alex Jones. After a year, they managed to represent New Zealand and do quite well overseas. So. Yeah, and probably uh, our player of the uh, tournament. We'll probably uh, have yeah. to go to Jack Ellis. I think so. Maybe we can get a few words off him later. Yeah, a couple nice jump shots from him. A couple uh, good he clearances. He's yeah, playing he well. He showed the experience and, yeah. You know, he's a little step above uh, the rest of the players, but, yeah, it was good for those other players to see him. And that's the good thing about Messi. You know, they've got players where you can go and watch and learn off them, especially in the senior ranks. There's a lot of good players you can learn off. People like Denise, who just won the... Las Vegas VNA World Champ. She did well over there. You got people like John Harrison. Yeah, and we've also got to go, give a shout, shout out to Manfield. He's our yeah, that's coach right. That, you know that does a lot of work behind the scenes as well. And hopefully next year there'll be a couple of Pukekohe teams in here. Now there's something new for them to work on. Getting the Pukekohe team here. Yeah, that's right. We'll be running this event again next year. So if you're watching and you you know you'd want you'd be keen to play or you want your school to put in a couple of teams, let us know. We'll we'll be ready next year. We'll be uh, sending out emails and calling different schools. And so so let your let your teachers know, let your sports directors know that you want to play, and I'm sure we'll be able to sort something out for next year. Yeah, and it's probably going to come down to first and first serve because the field's going to be twice as much. I think. Yeah. You know, you're going to double the field. Yeah, so we'll just get uh, Logan Walsh on the live stream. He's he's uh, been one of the main guys behind this entire event. He's put in a lot of hard work. So, how do you think the event went, Logan? Oh, mate, about as perfect as it probably could have gone. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what you guys would have changed. Uh, everyone seems to seems to be very widely appreciated and re um, received really well. So. 
No, it's been a really perfect week. You know, everyone's behaved themselves. Everyone, there's been no drama. It's been a really good pool. Everyone's dressed really well. Um, no, I, I'm not sure, mate. This it's been pretty good. So oh, I'm sure it's a, it's only it's only perfect when uh, when you put in a lot of work behind the scenes there, Logan. So uh, I think all your hours, all your hours in the office working hard for this event has paid off. Oh, cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Now it was not easy to get together, but. Hopefully, uh, going forward next year, we'll try and uh, we're looking. We're hoping to double the double the number of schools that uh, participate. And uh, already, I've got a few extra schools up on <coughs> on for next year. Uh, a couple in Auckland and uh, one down south. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna expand and you know hopefully come back next year with even bigger numbers. Uh, we might have to change the eligibility for nationals at this rate. Yeah. The way it's going. It's you know everyone everyone here even the. Both people from South Island, they're all keen to come back next year, so it doesn't seem like we'll be losing any numbers, which is really good to have. Uh, so if, if we've got people watching, Logan, what's the, you know, if they want to get involved, they want to get their schools involved, what's the best way for them to do that? Uh, send me an email, uh, it's probably the best way, so logan at masse, M-A-S-S-E dot co dot N-Z, or just give us a phone call at the office, I'll, I work there, uh, so I'll be there and answering the phone, so it's 07 839 Two nine two five, so it's oh seven eight three nine two nine two five. Emailing is probably the best way, though, Miguel. So uh, yeah, we've been uh, helping out. We do a lot of coaching up in the North Island. All the Auckland schools, Auckland schools, Hamilton schools, and Taranaki schools are all eligible for free coaching, as we have uh, free coaching at our clubs once a week. So if you guys are schools in that region, you're more than welcome to get uh, free coaching. So that's probably the best way to get into it. Oh, awesome, eh? Well, so I guess we're playing the last the last frame of this. Uh this game here, just easy clearance. Go for the eight in the same pocket, you reckon, Logan? Oh, yeah, there's a couple of ways, mate. You could hold it. These tables are playing a little bit slow at the moment, so you could probably hold it as well if you wanted to. Kind of. No, I don't think she's going to. Yeah. I thought she was going to hold it and play it up in the bottom right corner as we're looking at it. Yeah, I always find myself in th with these shots. You know, not quite mm. enough, and it's always just almost straight on with the eight. Yeah, these are the classic, classic, uh, classic shots that people don't practice enough, actually, mate. Double. Oh, well, she's gone for the double. Don't. There's a never a double there. Uh, I think this is actually quite a tough shot for Levi here. This is a trick for young players. You got to hit this one quite firm. You got a couple of cushions for the right pocket, top right corner. Oh, you don't hit it that soft, mate. He might That's work. That's right. He, he can pot this. Don't get the patch. Was uh, the last match, mate? If you yeah. had potted that, you know, if they potted that shot without the patch, it would have been Dio in the final. That's you know? right, yeah. Actually, those Dio guys have done really, really well. You know, not even just their blue team, the red and the white team have done exceptional. They're all still here supporting as well, so it's awesome. I think Fonganui A looks like they're probably going to take the plate. Uh, they double dip by the looks of things. Yeah, Fonganui versus Fonganui. That's. Quite a good, quite good at Fonganui, you know. Some oh, uh, as I say that Fonganui A just truck and trailer. So here's the eight no, for Levi. Good. He's he's been eyeing it up for a while. He this has moved the patch there. This is for Hamilton Boys High to take the take Never the stand. Really. Get your video cameras out, fans. This is uh, always oh, missed it. Always oh, overcut it. I jinxed him. Yeah, no, Boys High have done really well, mate. Been awesome to see them keep composed, you know, they haven't even lost a life, so. Yeah, that's true. You know, Jack Ellis is holding the team together well. and you know, it's Good job, guys. Congratulations to Boys High. They are your New Zealand Secondary Schools National 8 Ball Champions for 2018. They will come home with a massive, massive trophy. You'll be seeing that on the Facebook page in a couple of hours. Yep, that's right. We'll be doing some prize giving and we'll uh, post some photos up soon. Yeah, so you'll be uh, keeping, keeping, uh, keep posted and yeah, thank you very much for all your support over the stream and I will see you guys around. Great, thank you very much guys.